Well, this is my very first social innovation summit, and it's so great to be in this room in front of all of you people who have been driving social innovation so passionately for so many years. Well, that's not my slide, we'll go back. Um, so uh, I lead a team at Microsoft, and we are focused on how to use technology uh, to drive social impact. It's a team of environmental scientists, of human rights specialists, of accessibility engineers that are all focused on how can we use advanced technologies to make a difference in the world. And so it's my distinct pleasure to be here today to talk to you about the opportunity we have to use artificial intelligence for good. What you've undoubtedly heard over the past couple of years is really a global discussion about artificial intelligence, sometimes emotional, sometimes intellectual, but all asking fundamental questions. What is it is actually the most fundamental question we all ask. Uh, is it good? Is it bad for society? Will it help humans? Will it harm them? And probably most importantly, am I gonna have a job after this? What does it mean for my future? Will I be overtaken by robots? And there are so many words that are being used to talk about artificial intelligence. Sometimes we wonder, is it really about the technology or is it about the people? And so at Microsoft, we have taken a stab at what we use to define artificial intelligence, which is technology that can perceive, learn, and reason, and extend the capabilities of people and organizations. So for example, I'm a doctor. A robot's not taking my job, but artificial intelligence could help me better diagnose my patient and deliver a more effective and quicker treatment. But for all of you social innovators in the room, I have an even better, more simple definition for artificial intelligence. And that is, AI is a game changer. That's because if you take artificial intelligence and apply it to the problems you're trying to solve, you can accelerate our ability to drive social impact. But as we know, with this great, great opportunity also comes huge responsibility. We need to make sure that artificial intelligence is developed in a way that is socially responsible. And so we've thought a little bit about what that means. We don't have all of the answers at Microsoft, but we've definitely done some thinking on how we should develop and use artificial intelligence for good. We've come up with six principles. Fairness, reliability and safety, privacy and security, inclusiveness, transparency, accountability. For me, the most important word on this slide is probably inclusiveness. And that goes to we need to have a diverse set of people who are developing and using artificial intelligence so that we aren't uh, compounding natural human biases in our advancements in technology. And we also need to make sure that the people and the machines that are developed also comply with broad social values. So really the fundamental question is how can AI help empower people? And I'm a huge optimist on how we can do this. Today, computers can see, they can analyze, they can provide insight, they can speak, and they can understand multiple languages. So take just for example what this could do to help people with disabilities. We have over a billion people on the planet today who live with a disability. And of those people, only one in 10 have access to assistive technology. And the unemployment rate for people with disabilities is at least twice of that of other people. So imagine what we could do if we could take artificial intelligence and put it to play to help all of those people live fuller lives and help the world benefit from their potential. Now we are just getting started on this journey. And I wanna show you what we're seeing. Where I lived, they believe that deaf people can't do anything. So it was very, very difficult. I came to RIT because of the communication access that's provided here. RIT has nine different colleges. And NTID, the National Technical Institute for the Deaf, is one of those nine colleges. We are the world's largest mainstream program for deaf and hard of hearing people. We have the world's largest interpreting services, as well as the captioning group. It's the largest, but we still cannot keep up with the growth and the need for access services. 
So we decided to use Microsoft Translator as an additional communication tool, which can help our IT on its journey to scale. Microsoft Translator uses AI to provide another really strong bridge for the gap that has been there so long. As a deaf person, I want the exact same information that my hearing friends have. Presentation Translator was easier than we thought it would be. You really just have to click it, and the software automatically reads the content and everything that you have within the PowerPoint system. The Cognitive Services Custom Speech Recognition is critical for capturing vocabulary words that wouldn't be necessarily conventional in everyday life. Students can pick any language that they choose to receive the information. If the professor has chosen English, which they speak, then I can choose whatever language I learn in best. Do you guys play any video games? Students can use the app to initiate a conversation with others. So now that I have my phone, I can see exactly what was said. There are barriers to communication everywhere, but I think it's time we look at the barriers as opportunities, and then they can be broken down. Microsoft Translator has the ability to provide opportunities to reach out to everyone. Now, imagine if we had that technology in this room today, how people could have better understood the last conversation that happened, how they could understand what I'm saying today if they can't hear. Um, that, you asked what motivates me. That is what motivates me. It's incredibly inspirational, and we are only at the beginning of our journey. And that's what motivates people at Microsoft that work on my team and that work around the company to come to work every day. That and people we have worked with, like Steve Gleason, who's pictured here, who is a champion for using technology to help people with ALS live more full lives. Steve said something that I have taken to heart and is one of my favorite quotes of all time. It isn't going to easy, be easy, but it will be awesome. And awesome is never easy. And it is the pursuit of the awesome that motivated us at Microsoft to launch a new program over the last few weeks called AI for Accessibility. And AI for Accessibility seeks to bring artificial intelligence into the hands of game changers like people in this room who are focused on taking an AI-first approach to empower people with disabilities. We are trying to accelerate really as fast as we can in three key areas, employment, human connection, and modern life. And that is so that people with disabilities can work, play, and live just like everyone else. There are other ways in which we can use AI to really drive social impact. And one of them that we're focused on is the environment. We are facing immense environmental challenges today. Just look at the news. Climate change, ensuring resilient water supplies, feeding an ever-expanding population sustainability that will grow to over 10 billion people, all at the same time we are facing a massive loss of biodiversity, the rhino that was just extinct a few weeks ago. And so, simply put, we have borrowed from the future of our planet for far too long. And what we know is that the tools of the past will not secure our future. That's why another step that we're taking is we've launched a, an initiative called AI for Earth that's a $50 million five-year program that seeks to put artificial intelligence in the hands of innovators who will use that to drive change in areas of uh, agriculture, biodiversity, water, and climate change. Uh, we've already awarded grants to over 100 innovators in over 25 countries that are focused on those areas. Uh, if we don't take action now on the environment, we won't have a future. It's incredibly important that we use artificial intelligence and all tools that we have in order to make a difference for our future. And so I think we have a massive opportunity ahead of us. And we are just getting started. And as Steve said, it isn't going to be easy, but it's going to be awesome. And I'm really excited about the fact that there are all kinds of people in this room whose job is to solve these not easy, very, very hard challenges. So if you are a social innovator, I encourage you to please use AI as you think through your social innovation projects. If you're working in the area of accessibility or environmental sustainability, please check out our programs, our grant programs. And if you are a funder, please fund uh, innovation that, has, that uses artificial intelligence so that we can use the tools of the 21st century 
to build a better future for all of us together. Thank you very much.